Thank you very much. Can I now call Patrick Harvey? Thank you, Presiding Officer. And may I join the other leaders in offering my sincere condolences to Prince Philip's family, his friends, and all those who will miss him. In this chamber, as in this country, we do not all share the same views of the monarchy uh, or the same feelings today. It would be wrong to pretend that we did. And as a party which wishes for an elected head of state, we reflected carefully on whether and how we should take part in today's proceedings. But just as it would be wrong to give a performance of feelings not sincerely felt, it would equally be wrong to imply by our absence any kind of personal disrespect to those who have lost someone important to them, whether personally or otherwise. And this has been a year of terrible loss for the world, including up to 150,000 COVID deaths across the UK, most of them announced without ceremony as daily statistics. The toll has been heaviest on those with least. But while there is no great leveller in how we live our lives, we are today reminded that there is no extreme of wealth, privilege or status which can protect us from mortality. Jock Tamsin's bairns may be something of a cliché, but in this respect, every human being is indeed equal. Death comes to us all, and every family faces the pain of loss. So regardless of our different views, respect and compassion are due in equal measure to every one of us at such times. Such moments bring pain to family and friends, and for a public figure like Prince Philip, others will share that pain, to a greater or lesser degree. But for an individual, a family, or a society, death is also part of life cycle, bringing a change of the generations. Those who come after will build on the legacy of what they have been left, but will also rethink, reinvent, and alter course. They still owe much to those who went before, who may have lived by different values. Many have spoken about Prince Philip's environmentalism. Today's environmental movement overwhelmingly places responsibility for the global crisis on the powerful and would not seek to reconcile conservation with the blood sport of the wealthy. Yet it is still the case that a debt is owed to those whose environmentalism did achieve global awareness, even if it was shaped by different values than today's. It is said that Prince Philip wished to modernise the monarchy, and no doubt in time it will again consider if it can do so how a royal family can keep pace with the modern democratic society it is supposed to serve, and how it must show respect for the diversity of that society in its words and its deeds. Others will question whether it can, whether it should remain, retain its place or not. That debate is not for today. Today is a moment to extend our thoughts to Prince Philip's family and to all those who are grieving for their loved ones in a spirit of respect for the equal value of every human life.